I have watched the stars a lot and the planets moving across the sky, but I never thought that I would actually work on another planet. My name is Dawn Sumner, and I'm professor of geology at UC Davis, and I'm also a member of the Mars Science Laboratory team. So this is the rover, Curiosity. It's not that there's someone with a joystick driving the rover on the surface of Mars. Uh, we have this whole long process. There is an almost exact copy of it at JPL. So every command that they send up to the rover on Mars, they want to test and make sure they actually work first. Once that plan is checked, the signal goes to the Deep Space Network and the, one of those telescopes sends it up to the rover, uh, to the high gain antenna right here. The rover um, receives the commands and then it proceeds to implement them on its own. And so we typically get data from the rover about four times a day, but it's always long after anything's happened. We have a lot of instruments that geologists like to use, so we like to know what the composition of the rocks are. Uh, this big instrument at the top is called ChemCam, and it has a laser that vaporizes rocks at a distance. And from the color of that light, it can tell something about the composition. The MOLLE, the microscopic imager, it's on the end of the arm that can move. And so uh, the engineers developed a whole sequence where it could take pictures of the whole rover. Uh, this is called the Marty camera. And this one took um, pictures during the descent of the rover towards the ground. And uh, it shows that we stirred up a huge amount of dust and rocks. And we actually ended up with some rocks on top of the, the deck of the rover. We can also drill into the rocks. And this is one of the key ways um, why we're going to characterize hard rocks. And this is the drill right here. We have these two instruments that are inside the rover body. These are the inlets that go to those. They measure the, the uh, mineralogy and the composition of the samples. It's taken literally thousands of people working specifically on this project to do it. A grand adventure that's, that's uh, and it's good for science and good for society.